Hello, and welcome to Bits, Bytes, and Barrels 101. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Can, and I'm your resident instructor and expert on the impacts of digital technology on the oil and gas industry. This course is designed to help you, the oil and gas industry professional, the digital professional, the supplier, or the regulator, or the financier, prepare for the coming disruption to the oil and gas industry caused by digital innovations. The maturity framework has two axes. The vertical axis is the level of impact that the technology is having or projected to have. And the horizontal axis is a measure of the maturity of the technology. A technology can be mature, but not have much impact. Similarly, an immature technology can have a very high impact on the industry. Cloud is very mature as a technology. It's been in use for at least 10 years. Amazon pioneered the use of cloud computing almost 15 years ago. Clouds work very well, they are reliable, and they fit with oil and gas because the oil and gas industry is data intense and compute intense. SCADA, of course, stands for Sensory Control and Data Acquisition and SCADA sensors have been around for many years. SCADA was originally invented for the power industry back in the 1970s, and the technology's principal purpose was to remove workers from the factory and power utility floor. One of the areas that bot technology has not had much effect is in the back office. Robotic Process Automation Tools, or RPA, think Excel on steroids, stitch together the manual activities that you would see in an accounting back office. This technology is making real headway in the back office, and the reason for that is that the back office is still highly manual. RPA technologies first appeared 15 years ago in the video gaming industry to automate certain tasks such as collecting armor and treasure. Additive manufacturing can build complex parts quite quickly. Oil and gas has lots of parts, but they're not that complex. Parts are relatively simple and mostly made out of metal. The suppliers of parts and equipment are generally concentrated around the oil and gas basins where oil and gas is produced. Shipping costs are relatively low. And parts must meet a high standard, often tough industry standards. Additive manufactured parts will need to go through the standards acceptance process to demonstrate that they satisfy the standard.